We arrived last night on the ferry and camped up by a beach in our van, which was really, really nice. Um, apart from when the midges came out at about eight o'clock and basically just attacked us all night and all this morning. Um, so we have started hiking today slightly later. We planned to get up really, really early, but the midges were just, oh, they were just awful this morning. So we ended up staying in bed a little bit longer, waiting for them to go, and it's now about nine o'clock, and we are hiking the Sanex Horseshoe today, um, which goes up this peak, up a few other peaks. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what peaks yet, but... So it goes up here, the Kyo, uh -huh. and then we go across, and then we go around the back, and Kyo Moor is at the back, and then we come back and along these edges here, so actually, actually you can basically around all these hills behind me and I'll show you properly. I'll turn the camera around in a second. <laughs>
just so I've just been scrambling up our first little summit and um, got a little bit lost kind of started going round the side before realizing we really needed to go straight up um, and yeah then it was like a bit, bit a little bit of a scrambly section note to self that five year old rambling boots are not appropriate for grade two scrambling but you learn anyway now I have a hell of a lot of stones in my shoe <laughs> here in Sanex and we have come along this path and we are now sitting up at this summit which I cannot pronounce Kioch na Oiga um, and then we are going to be following this ridge line which you can see here following it up almost to Goatfell just off the map there not quite going up the summit of Goatfell and then up to Ria Moor, which we're going to climb on tomorrow. And then hopefully going to be following it all the way around on this side as well. All the way back. Oh, hang on. Ah, yeah. All the way back up to North Sanex Bridge and then down to Sanex. And that is this ridge line. Well, we might be able to cut here. down that burn. Ah, well. uh, yeah, I'll possibly cut down so we don't have to follow the road back. So it's a nine mile route in total, and we've been going a couple of hours. Glen Sanex back to our van after doing this big ridge line up here. We had planned to do this side as well, um, to do the full horseshoe, but we decided we kind of got to the halfway point, um, which is where the final escape route is, and we decided to cut it short a bit basically for a few different reasons. We're kind of running out of time, we have quite a lot we want to do this afternoon. I'm gonna go for a swim in the sea and we have a big day tomorrow um, going climbing, doing a big multi-pitch. So we thought the best idea would probably be to descend and have a bit more of a chilled afternoon. It's actually just started raining, so I think we made the right decision, but still gonna go for a swim, definitely. Right, Harvey? Swim? Yeah, sure thing, why not? <laughs> 